I have my coffee. I have had oh. a donut. And I am excited for today's live stream. I didn't do any of those things. Well, yeah. I had coffee, but I think it gave me heartburn. <laughs> so. You just were telling me that your belly was no good. I'm so I sorry. I have heartburn. Are you okay? I probably need to go home and sleep for the rest of the week. Why? We're having so much fun here, though. I, because I'm probably sick and I don't want to get everyone else sick. She's not sick. I'm not sick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a donut either. Oh. I ate one yesterday, though. I had cinnamon apple one, and it was really tasty. But I ate a lot of sweeties yesterday. Because <laughs> we also went out for ice cream yesterday. I ate a lot of. Sweeties. I had a double scoop, and I was not feeling well. Enough. I know. I had donut. And then we had a good lunch. Well, we went to lunch. And then we had ate a ice big cream. lunch. Then yeah. went and got ice cream. And I was like, whoa, that was a mistake. I felt very full. It wasn't a mistake that we treated ourselves and had a great time. Yes. It was a mistake that we ate too much in a short period of time. I forgot to hook up my phone. Oh. Did you notice that? No. Hold on. Let's get this. Oh, real did you quick. upload that card too? It's right here. Okay. It's right here, right there. Oh, the other one. No. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Friends, she didn't upload the card. I am very excited, you guys. So, Catherine and Erica here from Catherine Pooler Designs. We are going to dig in the archives today and pull out some classic Catherine Pooler Designs products. Super cuteness is about to happen. Always. <laughs> and make sure you tune in with us later this week because we have a product announcement tomorrow, Thursday, February 16th. I was going to say 22nd. I really don't know what's Hold happening. Hold on. My hair is all <clears throat> yes. um, in the middle. Super excited. Okay. We've had a little bit of a longer <clears throat> gap between releases than we normally do this time. It just sort of happened that way. And last week I was saying to Catherine, I was like, it's got a little bit quiet. And then next thing you know, it's going to be like. <clears throat> and this morning I was like. Oh, oh, Wait, tomorrow. I forgot to turn it, to put in the microphone. You forgot Tell me everything. Better one. <laughs> or better two. I had a dream last night that I was watching a replay of a Facebook Live, and when I plugged in the microphone, the sound got really, really bad, and we just carried on, and no one told us, and the sound quality was horrible. You had that dream because that's happened. <laughs> it's happened, and you guys let us sound like we were in a tunnel. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> um... So anyway, back on track. We have a release coming up next Wednesday. Stamp Nation members, you get to order on Tuesday starting at noon. We will also be doing a Facebook Live. Well, Facebook Lives will be Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday at noon. Wednesday. Wednesday on YouTube mm -hmm. at noon. And then we have our Stamp Nation release party on Tuesday at 3. And also, I'm trying to talk... Erica in to hanging out with me after work on Wednesday and having dinner and then coming in here and doing a live stream. I would love to hang out with you guys. We have a lot going on next week. <laughs> we'll see. Her plate is full. We'll see. We'll see if I can strong arm. I don't know how I booked. I didn't mean to book in two meetings next week in the evenings. I said I was available on these particular days and then the lady came back and said, great, we'll do both Tuesday and Thursday. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, so then you would be busy Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, mm -hmm. and that is a little much. It's a lot for me. I saw Titanic last night in 3D. You would think I was seeing it for the first time. It was wonderful. Her heart must go on. Or and then I started on. book number nine. <laughs> um, we are going to come down. I want you Please. to show. Hold on. Okay. Let's come down here. I have to run across the room real quick. Okay. So tell them about this paper pack. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back. So, well, I feel like there's backstory to why we're, we chose this or why okay. we chose this. But anyways, so if you guys got our email, give us a thumbs up uh, or a heart. Um, we sent out an email a little bit ago saying that we've been really spoiled lately. As you heard, we've eaten some donuts. We also had some bagels recently. Debbie's sweet husband drove really, really far oh. to get some bagels for us and came back and treated us um, so sweet. And he got, like, authentic New York bagels. They were fantastic. Anyways, so we've been really spoiled. <laughs> he did not drive all the way to New York to get them, though. Not to New York, but he drove <laughs> 20 minutes out of his way and then 20 minutes back. Yeah, and then another 20 minutes here. Anyways, 
It was far. Um, so we were going to make something for him today, right? Yeah. And the Daily Grind patterned paper has a bit of a, it, it could totally pull masculine. You've got a lot of coffee situation going on here. So this felt like coffee and donuts, coffees and bagels. Those things go together. So this is a classic Daily Grind pattern paper. If you were lucky enough to get the coffee shop 12 by 12, that was a coffee limited. Java fix, was a limited edition that was inspired by this. And it was like a refreshed 12 by 12 version. If not, then, you know, next time. But <laughs> if you have this at home, you can uh, craft along with us. If you don't, you can grab it. It is in the shop. And let's go from there. Swap okay. back. Swap yes. it back. So I pulled... Pull, well, I didn't pull that first. I pulled the, the color combo pack second and the color combo because you guys know we add right on the bottom the ink colors that coordinate with the patterned paper pack. So it's color made easy. It's really easy for you to grab your inks and go. And then Erica pulled this card. You made this, right? I made that, but it was inspired by one Lisa made. These are little donuts. Aren't they so cute? They were not created to be donuts, though came from this stamp set, which is called Sweet, Sweet Life. Life. This is a classic. It's one of my favorite stamp sets. It's so adorable. It's a little wonky and fun and whimsical, and it makes all these little fruits. This is what it was created to make right here. How adorable. Oh, Natasha, it's so beautiful. And here is a layering guide. This is how all of the pieces are supposed to work together. This is also on the product page in the shop, so you can find it there, right? Isn't it? Yes. Okay. There's also a little sticker on the stamp set that tells you where you can go to download this so that you know how all the pieces work together. But on the right, the second one down, that is the quote-unquote donut, which is supposed to be a kiwi. How creative is that? So cute. So cute. So we're going to do a donut. We're going to do coffee. Yeah. This and on Lisa's card, she used these two to make her bagel donuts. I don't know what they were because <clears throat> they could be either. Mm. I used that one, but like oh, I think just using okay. those may look even more bagel donut-y. Okay. We'll so do that. We have the dies that go with this. And I also pulled mugshots. Huh, very well loved mug shots because this was the stamp set created to go with this patterned paper pack if you haven't grabbed this yet this is in the shop so cute all these little coffee cups are adorable and then I pulled out some sentiments some thank you sentiments I might use the thanks a bunch from every occasion I may use the you're the best from something for everyone or I might just grab one of these thank yous not sure yet you guys will have to help me decide okay and I also grabbed this guy. What is this called, Erica? Roundabout. Roundabout, maybe? This has the circle dies in it, so you can cut the circle out and then do the little polka dots around the end, end edge, edge of the die. I'm just going to use this, and I'm going to do the polka dots right onto the card layer. Okay? So let's start creating. I'm excited. So we've got a lot of things, yes. but we've got a plan and we'll see how it unfolds. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, goodness. <coughs> sorry, Catherine. Ooh. We're just going to have to so sorry. make you go sit outside. Oh. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I want to be here stamping. <laughs> Very excited. Okay, so okay. sand, oh, nope, sandcastle. We're going to ink this, see how this looks. Oh, That's over coffee, beautiful. sister. Thank you. Over coffee. Yep. Where's sandcastle? Let's see what, let's see which one we want. Okay, so over coffee or sandcastle for our donuts or our bagels. And you know, like, and then I, icing on the cake. my very first job was at a bagel shop and we had pumpernickel bagels Ooh. and they were dark like that. I think those are cute. I think I like the light one. I what think do you guys I like, like them both. Like both leave of a, them. Leave because, a comment. Which one? Dark or light? We had a lot of everything bagels, so you might need to, like, put sprinkles on there. <laughs> okay. Poppy seeds. Well, I could do <gasps> two and two. You could splatter it to make poppy Ooh. seeds. What if I made um, <laughs> uh, metallic paint 
splatters for the poppy seeds. That would be fun. That is fun. So we'll do two and two. So I already die cut these. These are wonky and a little whimsical. So if I don't get these stamped perfectly, well, actually, you can't really get them stamped perfectly because they are whimsical. Right. So, so the outline was designed to not line up exact. And then that way you don't feel the pressure of having to have that happen. It's more of a pop art effect. Pop art. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of us like the dark one. Some of us like the light one. Some of us like both. <laughs> Could use one of each. Yeah. All right. So there are little bagels. Those are cute. I know. So cute. Then we're going to take this guy. Do we going to make a fun bagel card and a fun donut card? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I could do two <laughs> sets of sort. I'm going to put this. I'm not going to decide on that. Okay. First. Let's do the coffee cup. This is such a fun stamp set. Stacey says she feels like this live is a sign that she should be eating chocolate da glazed donuts. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So, Stacy, you go with you that. You should. Sis. <laughs> I don't know what color I want my cups in the park. That's cute. Or oh, all that jazz. All that jazz. Oh, cute. And then we have to do the lid. Uh, that's a little small. A bigger block. Um, the icing. Oh. So, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes the lids are like black or super dark brown or whatever, and I don't know. Then that, like that pulls the bevel <gasps> in. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Maybe we should do both. We could do two. And two bagels, because your friend is having coffee and bagels with you, so why just do one? Wait, Sha Shaman said something about using coffee beans before that. Could be little coffee. Oh, the little stamp could look like a little coffee bean instead oh, of a donut. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. All right, big shot. Let's. Yep. You want him? Yes, please. I'll get him on over there. Okay. <laughs> We're amped today. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what just happened. We've been very silly today, so um, anything could happen. Anything can happen. Prepare yourselves. Okay. Um, Diane wants you to know she has 70-ish pages in book eight left to go, so she's catching up with you. Well, I started book nine Diane, last night. Put her in the dust. Put her in the dust, Diane. Is this a competition? <laughs> I, it just I'm became one. a very competitive person. Challenge. Oh, no. What happened? I, I ripped. You ripped it. I ripped. So let's do again. Uh, oh, Farfig Mugen. That's a good sized rip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so funny. So I started the per, uh, the wife between us last night. Yeah. Yes. I started that. Greer. No, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Greer, whatever mm -hmm. that we'd read before. Perkinson? Yeah. Pretty good so far. Cool. I am wondering. What the first wife did to make her husband leave because she's kind of setting it up to be where he le left her, but she has hinted a couple times at her deceit. Oh, so I'm intrigued. Oh, I still need this. Oh. Hold on, let's not go anywhere. Else. Tracy. Tracy says she likes when we intentionally make things a little wonky so she doesn't feel the pressure of having to get it perfect. Yes, Tracy, because we feel that too, mm -hmm. honestly. And then we like that look. It's it's a fun look. It just makes it a little bit more, like I said, a little yeah. more pop art, a little bit funner. And we love a bit of whimsy. So that also kind of adds to the whimsicalness of the nature of the image. Um, but yeah, who wants to feel sad that they didn't stand perfect? Because that's just not a thing. <laughs> you you should just be able to be like, that looks fantastic, and move on. <laughs> Instead of like, oh, I gotta do that six times because it's not lined up right. Alright, now we can get rid of this. Okay. Thank you, my own. He's a heavy guy. He's substantial. Pop out these little bits. So this is probably, well, 
Yes. I was going to say, does anyone want to guess what the theme for our next collection <gasps> might be? Oh. <laughs> that we're going to tell you tomorrow. Or, yeah, we're going to tell you the theme, and we're going to tell you the new product that's hitting the shop. So, any ideas on that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, one new product we're going to we're gonna tell them about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Something you might be waiting for. Okay. Cute. Oh, these little polka dots. Over there. Is there a little... Look at these little guys. And oh, then... Sweet. How about that? That's, that's cute. That's pretty cute. Coffee and donuts. Coffee and bagels, I mean. Coffee and bagels. And then my sentiments. I think this, I think I like this. You're the best. And then doing it wrapped around the bottom there. Too bad we don't have dude. <laughs> Although you're I, the best. I wouldn't dude. call Joe a dude. You wouldn't? No. Man. <laughs> we could do brother. So these uh, photopolymer stamps are nice because we did the angle of the circle to go around, I think, the outside mm -hmm. one. Um, but if you go to a smaller one, you can kind of maneuver it a little so that it fits better. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do it between. Okay, everybody drum roll. You're the best. And then. Cute. A little bit of glue there. Cut. A little bit of glue under this guy. And then we're going to do some on foam tape. How many bundles? Joanne, it's three? I think it's three. Guesses for St. Patrick's Day, Easter, uh, <laughs> Mary Rose says eggs because they're so expensive at the store we will have to stamp them instead, instead of eating them. Yeah. Um, mini ink pads, lots of good guesses here. So my sister's friend told her Walmart had a good deal on eggs. So she went and bought 18 of them. Oh. And then went to work and her coworker has chickens. Oh. And he brought her a dozen fresh eggs. Oh. Told her they were a gift from God. Oh. And she didn't have the heart to say, just bought 18 more eggs. She's going to be eating a lot. Of Last eggs. night she had frittata. I said, well, aren't you rich? <laughs> I said, you can post on social media how rich you are because you're eating frittata. Uh, that's funny. Well, the rest of us are rationing. Because I, I was the other day, I was like, I could go for quiche. I'm like, oh, no, that's too expensive. Yeah. I'm making well, quiche. That's expensive. <laughs> I think it would be really fun to. That's really cute. Do in the park on the background here, so then that color mm -hmm. is well, behind. Or the, were you going to do a pop of paper? That's right. I forgot about the paper. I am going to do paper. Maybe the coffee beans. Oh, or this what? stripe would be handsome. Oh, you feel like little. What you got your little strips over there for? Yep. I know. I have Look a plan, and I, I forgot about my plan. <sighs> and she's going rude. Who's surprised? Okay. I'm going to have to re-ink this pad for sure. Some foam tape. Oh, what am I going to do about the... Mm, yeah, my patterned paper. My idea. Well, I guess we're going to have to make a second card. Still, like, not sure about that. I'm thinking <laughs> what I'm going to do here. Calculating. Yeah. Um. Yes. Shaman, we love our blocks. We have our CP Perfect blocks that we have, um, we had specially made. They are very ergonomic and comfortable in your hand. They have beveled soft corners, so they're not sharp. They're very lightweight. They have grid lines on them. And we have an assortment of sizes that we have picked and grown so that we meet all of your stamping needs. <laughs> We love our blocks. They're fantastic. You gotta have good quality blocks. So, are you ready to see what's happening yeah. here? So, I have cut three quarters of an inch, half an inch, and one quarter of an inch because... Can you zoom out a little? Oh. There, we go. there you go. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh-huh. Okay. I just wanted to do a little, like, little flags like oh, I like to do. Oh, yeah, Although cute. that's not, not, not with these two cups. Not but diving this, on there. This is what I was thinking, just doing some of these little flags. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you could do your stripes and your beans. Could do... Is this glued down right here? Because I could, oh yeah, I could just go like this and like stick a couple pieces under here. I really love, so like we talk a lot about using your pattern paper, but a little goes a long way with pattern paper. You can really add a nice pop and take your card up a notch by just adding like that little touch. <clears throat> oh, Betsy, thank you for treating your friends to some of our CP Perfect oh. blocks. That's very kind that of you. That is very nice. Let them know what's up. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little strip under the cups. I'm going like this. Allie, that's that in between the one and a half inch square. Super, super good size. Yes, Stacy, I the rounds are like must haves. The two sizes that we have are really they really do fit a lot of your stamps. So and it's a really comfortable block to hold in your hand. When we got the slightly bigger one, I was worried because my hands are small, but it still totally fits in my hand comfortably. You so guys hanging in while I'm doing <laughs> Drop it and ink up the crafting desk. Okay, there we go. We're just talking about blocks. Okay, wonderful. And then a little piece of the coffee bean. Cute. Hey, we could almost do a stripe underneath that too. Another stripe? Yeah. Or maybe not because of the your. Uh huh. That is so cute. There. That's it. That's my card. Do I need any sequins? It's for Joe. Does he like sequins? Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe 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 not <laughs> I always say when I make cards for men I'm making it for him but also I'm making it from me and so I put a little piece of myself in it which would be a sequin or glitter so there's that yeah do you want some sequins no it's because okay. we could use providence and they're like brown and glittery hmm. I think we're good mm -hmm. I think I like this so fun cute Amazing. That was enjoyable. I was really trying to get like a donut card out of you too, but maybe I could do a like, real. I didn't plan a donut card. Today. Maybe I could do a real. But that is thinking out of the box. So we turned a kiwi into a bagel. Yes. I mean, I love it. Thank you, Lisa Harrell, for your inspiration as well. Mm -hmm. We love oh, our. That's a good idea. Our Using team. a leftover strip from the in, from the inside. Oh, cues. Oh, is that all? Lisa um, very often uh, thinks out of the box and comes back with stuff on her card samples for us that are very surprising. And we love yeah. that because we like to see you guys stretch your supplies. We like to see, and it also, it's just when we're designing something, we're always thinking about what it's meant to be used for or intended to be used for. So we don't always see those mm -hmm. other things. But maybe when you get a stamp set, you look at it and say, what is that? And then you're like, oh, I see so-and-so. So let's. -so. So, Let's go down. You know, look. What? Let's, let's finish this up. Okay. Let's finish on the inside. So icing on the cake, and we're going to do thank you. And then we're going to do a strip. Oh, that's nice. I like that a lot. Oh, that is cute. Good idea. It's perfect. Yeah, don't waste that pretty paper. I thought you were going to like weave it together. So see, I mean, the world is your oyster. Uh -huh. That would be, oh, <laughs> do you see that? We've been looking at tiles. So now she's building a tile wall pattern. <laughs> well, I'm just putting another little piece down here. 
Love it. Okay, that's that's fun. And let us know if you take the time to um, embellish the insides of your cards or yay or nay, if you're an insider or an outsider. Were we talking about these guys for the everything bagel seasoning? Oh, we could use that stamp to put some. Let's just seeds. see what it looks like real quick. On one of the other bagels? Yeah. Shape just for kicks. Yeah, um, Pamela, we definitely have boards in Pinterest. Um, if you just put the name of the stamp set, so this one is called Sweet Life, and you put Sweet Life Catherine Fuller mm. in Google, you're going to find cards. But yeah, um, on in the shop with the product, there's card samples on our blog. <laughs> if you Google, um, if you go to the blog and search out Sweet Life, you can find lots of card samples. Mm -hmm. So absolutely. Um, that's cute. Thanks. Oh, we didn't swap. They're not there looking at go. us. Oh, golly. <laughs> huh? I don't know why this happens when it's like if your oh, arm gets too crazy. close to the camera. Yeah, and camera. then everything just goes haywire. It goes, oh, we're very bright. Envelopes, too, yes. Oh, yeah. That would Always be put something on the yes. inside. Mm -hmm. I like to put a surprise inside. Oh, that's fun. Uh oh. So cute. Okay. Let's see. Oh, come back here. And then it's good. I'm just put my hands in my pockets. I'm not awkward at all. Not at all. Oh, well. Okay, oh, well. We oh, wow. Friends, <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us today. This is worse. I know. Here, let's do this because that's good. Yeah. We're so happy you were here with us today. We hope that you subscribe, like, and share. We appreciate you so much. And we are very excited for the next four business days, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday. We will be live on Facebook giving peeks and sneak reveals <laughs> of our new products that come out next week on Wednesday. And we will be back, we will be back here at noon on Wednesday for our release party and we hope you'll join us. And one of the things guest was right and some of the things guest were wrong. Oh wow there were some correct guesses in there. There was there were some oh, correct okay. guesses Here and there were some on. incorrect guesses. So tune in tomorrow, Facebook at noon to get the first sneak peeks of the collection. And we'll